Hi, this is Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Eberts, welcome to our first official Circus Monkey tutorial. Circus Monkey is a script effects hybrid designed to create kinetic type in 3D space. Let me show you how it works. Once you install Circus Monkey, select your font, paste in your text, and click Do It. Circus Monkey is going to build what we call a text rig, in this case, a stationary rig. It'll generate a camera, and it'll shy everything except for the master control layer. And you'll get a bunch of words stacked on top of each other. Everything you'll need to adjust the layout from here on in is located on the effects control panel in the master control layer. So for example, by stretching the rig in Z space, you can create a fly through. You can add a twist. You can turn on depth of field and transparency from the camera. Or you could stretch it on the Y axis and twist it. And you'll create this kind of twisty helix thing. There are seven basic text rigs to choose from, and by playing with these effects controls, you can create tons of fly-throughs, twists, spirals, carousels, ferris wheels, radials, turnstiles, and all sorts of wild or experimental stuff. The script UI is made up of six sections, the text box, layout, type attributes, type animation, markers, and monkey cam. The text box. This is where you paste or type your text. There's a couple key commands here that'll help you control your text. Click the star and the list will come up. If you want to do a letter by letter animation, put a space between each letter and Circus Monkey will essentially treat each one as its own separate word. I'll go over this in a later tutorial. Layout. This is the starting point for how text is going to be arranged in space. At the core of this are the text rigs. There are seven preset text rigs to choose from. Stationary, X-line, Y-line, Z-line, and X-circle, Y-circle, and Z-circle. Word alignment. Each of these rigs have several different alignments, some of which will be disabled when they're not applicable. Direction is the order in which the words are arranged, left to right, top to bottom, back to forth, whatever. Depending on what the text rig you're using, it might mean different things. Spacing is the distance in pixels between words. Circle wrap. This comes to play when you're dealing with circle rigs. This essentially controls the size of the circle. You have the option of having the type wrap from one quarter to three times around the circle. If you're going to use anything past 100%, chances are you're probably going to have to add some sort of other factor, such as stretching the circle to create multiple spirals. Equalize. Well, when you have a text rig that has a flush left or flush right type alignment, that center point moves around, causing the camera to wobble around and not giving you a smooth camera move. So we added an equalize feature that makes the width of all the control layers equal to the longest word, so the center points will be aligned. Type attributes. This area controls the size and color of the text. This section is pretty self-explanatory and is very similar to our other scripts with the exception of a couple new font size options, ascending and descending. Type animation. This controls how the text transitions in and or out. Transition in has about 25 options including the popular randomize and of course the default none. Transition out. There are two options, cut and fade out. The timing of the transition out is controlled by the delay dropdown. By default, it's set to next marker. This setting is great if you're doing quick word-by-word -word readouts that you can easily adjust with the sliders. Your other options are all time-based, from zero, which will give you a quick pop, all the way to 60 frames. The marker and the camera boxes are virtually unchanged from our other monkey scripts, with the exception of some insane math Dan did to allow the Circus Monkey camera to work the way it does. So for the benefit of those who already work with those scripts, as well as to save me a heck of a lot of time, I'm just going to tack those sections onto the end of this tutorial.
Once the initial build is done, when you click on the master layer, you'll see a bunch of effects controls in the effects control box. The controls are divided into a few basic sets, the rig controls, the text controls, the camera controls, and if you've selected a circle text rig, you've also got circle controls on there. The rig controls are transformation effects for the control layers. Let's say you move the X control. What's happening is each control layer is moved a corresponding number of pixels along the X axis. And since they're parented, each layer affects the next. The overall effect is that the shape stretches in the X direction. The same applies for rotation, which in essence, twists the shape on the axis you've selected. Text controls gives you transformation controls over the text layers themselves. Since the text layers are not parented to each other, but rather to their own control layers, they all react in the same way, simultaneously, and don't affect each other. The control affects each word individually, and by the same amount. Camera controls allows you to change the position and rotation of the camera, all while keeping it pointed to the control layer that it's queued up to. Lastly, there's the visibility controls, which really helps legibility when working with Z-Space. There are three sections in these controls. Opacity allows you to control how transparent the type gets as the layer's distance from the camera increases. When you open this up, the BG, or background controls, allows you to control the distance in pixels it takes to go from fully opaque to fully transparent. Fog is basically the same thing, but instead of controlling opacity, it affects the amount and color of the tint effect that each word has applied to it. Enable Depth of Field, or DOF, is pretty much what it says it is, with the intensity default to 100. Focus Distance is an interesting setting. The way it's set up is that it's designed to automatically compensate for changes in the camera's relationship to the word it's pointing at. It won't, however, adjust for manual changes to the text position. To account for that, we've included this manual focus adjustment slider for you to play with if you need it. Lastly, if you're using one of the circle rigs, you'll have one more set of controllers which deal with the center point of the circle. Well, there's a lot more to Surface Monkey. Please drop us a line if you have any more ideas on how to improve it and post up your work. We'd love to see what you've done. On behalf of Dan Everts, I'm Lauren Zucker, and thanks for watching. box, the marker box, as well as the caret key command in the text box, is a place that manages how the markers will be laid out on the time control layer. As with any project, if you're dealing with a long composition and hundreds of markers, some thought should be put into it before starting. Would it be easier to break it into several compositions? Maybe editing the text and just using some keywords would be a good idea. There's a number of techniques that you can use before you actually start laying down the markers. Without making any adjustments, TypeMonkey will evenly space the markers over the length of the work area. If you haven't adjusted the work area, then it will use the entire composition. Using the work area controls in the timeline window is ideal for working with projects that have a fixed time span, such as a song or a voiceover. TypeMonkey will begin and end with a space, not a marker, so a lot for that when you're setting the beginning and end of your workspace. The purpose of the Marker Sync checkbox is to tell TypeMonkey to align the markers with an existing marker layer. Marker Sync is perfect in case you've spent time adjusting the timing markers but need to rebuild for some reason. When undoing a composition, TypeMonkey will ask you if you want to save the existing marker layer. Click Yes, and then select that as the sync layer for your next build, and then click Do It. Each marker will sync up with its corresponding marker sequentially. If you don't have enough markers on the guide layer, TypeMonkey will refuse to build the composition. It's no problem to have too many markers on the guide layer, you just can't have not enough. Also, there's a few audio to marker scripts out there that will lay down a marker at every beat or several beats. These are amazing for automatically syncing music to your kinetic type. The monkey cam is the last box in the control window. 
This box, when selected, will create a camera that's dynamically linked to the text animation. Change the text layout, and the camera will change with it. You can also create a layout that doesn't have a camera by unchecking the Include Camera box. The three sections that make up the Monkey Cam control box are Movement, Auto Rotate, and Auto Frame. Movement is broken down into four options. Smooth Stop and Go, Smooth Constant, Linear Stop and Go, and Linear Constant. All of these are automatically in sync with whichever speed is selected in the Type Animation control. I won't go over these in depth at this point, but you can see what they do and reference them on our website. Auto Rotate will rotate the camera with the type. This can be turned off if you want the type to rotate separately from the camera, or not at all. Auto Frame keeps the type at a consistent horizontal margin from word to word. For example, the Monkey Cam will pull back on a long word and push in on a short one. There's four different options to choose from. Loose, medium, tight, and... You can also turn it off. Monkey Cam also has an update button. So you can change settings after the composition has been generated. This is useful when experimenting with different camera moves. So that's about it. An overview of Circus Monkey. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I'll be going through some in-depth projects in upcoming tutorials, so keep an eye out for that. On behalf of Dan Everts and myself, Oren Zucker, thanks for watching and enjoy your Circus Monkey.